Good day folks. Today in this quick little video I'm going to show you how to connect your Spark to the remote to your phone via an OTG cable. Now if you're not quite sure what an OTG cable is, it's basically just a cable that can connect different devices. Many people use it for different scenarios, but in this case we're going to be using it to connect the remote to your smartphone. There are many that are having connectivity problems with the Wi-Fi with their DJI Spark. You know, loss of signal, disconnections, blocky and broken up video, using an OTG cable can help solve that problem. Now there's two different ways we can do it. You can use the cable that came with the Spark and you have to purchase the adapter from DJI. It's on their site and Amazon for about $5, I believe. Now it's not the best solution because it adds a lot of bulk. You have to use this long cable and then the adapter and you know, it all can be very bulky and cumbersome. So a better solution is using a little OTG cable like this. This one is designed for the iPhone because it has a lightning end, but uh, you can get them for the Android devices as well. And I'll include all the links down below where you can get a little cable like this. The nice thing with this little cable is that it's very small and, you know, just a little bit more manageable. So basically the steps we're going to need to connect. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off all my Wi-Fi and different connections. So we're going to put it in airplane mode and you can see now that Wi-Fi is off, Bluetooth is off. So we'll go back to the main screen and we're going to launch the DJI Go app. And if you can see here, um, down at the bottom left hand corner, the little icon where it says connection, there's a line through it. That means we're not connected to the Spark. Normally we would connect via Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do here now is power on the Spark. And we're going to power on the remote. And we're going to wait till the two of them connect and the lights are flashing normally. So we've got a green connection on the remote and the lights there are flashing the way they should be. So now the next step is you're going to plug the lightning end into our iPhone and we're going to plug the micro USB end into the controller. And when we plug this in, we should hear a beep on the phone saying that it's been connected. It doesn't always work the first time. Sometimes you gotta unplug it and plug it back in. I'm not sure why it does that, but uh, just so you're aware of that. And there we go, we heard the beep. Now this will always pop up on the screen. It's saying that the accessory may not be compatible, but it is. So we just dismiss that. And now you can see at the bottom, the network has uh, been connected. So now we can go to start flight. And there we go. So if I close that, you can see that I'm still in airplane mode. And you can see here that Wi-Fi is still shut off. At this point, we would normally, if we were going to be flying without the OTG cable, we would have connected to the RC remote. So that's basically it. So now we can just go ahead and mount the phone into the uh, controller. And as you can see, using one of these small OTG cables, there's less bulk and it'll fit through the opening there just nicely and there's no hassle. I just want to mention quickly that uh, DJI does not officially support this method. And I have read in a different uh, few forums that uh, you can actually void the warranty or the DJI Care Refresh, I believe, if you do fly with an OTG cable. So just keep that in mind. Uh, use at your own risk. Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to like this video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we're going to have a ton of Spark videos, different tutorials and different things to get the most out of your DJI Spark. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.